video, I want to formally write the uh, six trig functions or trig ratios. And then once we understand those, then guys, we're going to use them to solve many different types of examples in a right triangle. Guys, keep in mind right now, we are confining ourselves to only acute angles in the right triangle. And then once we understand these things, then we're going to talk, talk about trig functions for any type of an angle. Okay. So guys, uh, let us define formally the six trig ratios or trig functions. Again, first of all, uh, we have a right triangle. Let's say we have a right triangle ABC, right triangle ABC. And then guys, we have to first start by looking or identifying our reference angle. Guys, uh, you are free to use this or this as a reference angle. For convenience, I'm using this as my reference angle and let me call it theta. Theta is the most popular one, but there's other uh, Greek letters that are used to denote the angles like alpha, beta, gamma, phi, and many more. So uh, let us call this as a reference angle. So guys, based on this reference angle, this will be called as an opposite. So this is the opposite side and I usually refer it by the first initial opposite. Guys, if this is the opposite, because this is directly opposite to that reference angle, and then this obviously is going to be my adjacent. And I'm going to use first initial again. And guys, the longest side is always going to be called as the hypotenuse. We already know that and this is my hypotenuse H, right? So guys, based on this setup, we are gonna define six trig ratios. Guys, the first basic one is called the sine of the angle theta. And guys, keep in mind, these, this is not, these are not two separate quantities or it's not like sine is multiplied to theta. It is just one function. It's like theta is the input and sine of theta is what we get as the output. And even if you are, uh, later, if you are gonna use the calculator for this, you will see these, functions or these things on your calculator as the whole sine of theta or cosine of theta or tangent of theta for that matter okay so guys don't try to disconnect them these are functions these are functions like you are you have log of x or log of something or e to the power exponential functions okay so these are functions now how do we define them so sine we know is the ratio of the opposite opposite over hypotenuse guys i kind of already introduced this in my previous video but if you have not watched the previous video or if you want to skip that video, then you can see here that the sine of uh, any reference angle in a right triangle is defined as the ratio of the length of the opposite over the length of the hypotenuse. Okay, that is the sine. Guys, the other quantity that is connected or related to the sine is called the cosecant and the uh, short form for that is cosecant C, C, S, C theta, but it is read as cosecant. Cosecant theta guys we don't want to write this whole thing so that's why we write the short form csc theta but we still read it as cosecant of theta guys cosecant of theta is the ratio of the hypotenuse so maybe i should call it a hypotenuse over opposite so which means it is basically the reciprocal of the sine because sine is opposite over hypotenuse if i flip it or reverse it then what we get is the hypotenuse over opposite and that is called the cosecant of theta guys it is the names that mathematicians have come up with so we got to be consistent with it and these are the names for the ratios that are used th like consistently throughout the world so that's why we are going to stick with the same names if somebody had come up with a different name then we would be using that different name but these are kind of you can think of also you can think of them as set of rules that we consistently use in all fields of mathematics or physics or sciences in general guys this is the first one then the second one is the cosine of theta uh, which we write as COS theta and cosine for this right triangle is always defined as the length of the adjacent over the hypotenuse. That is how we define the cosine function or the cosine ratio. And then there is an, obviously if I have adjacent over hypotenuse, that is one of the ratios in this right triangle. We can also have, we can also look at the ratio of hypotenuse over the adjacent. And guys, that means if we flip it or if we reciprocate it, we get hypotenuse over adjacent. That ratio is called the secant of theta. Guys, we write SEC theta, but it is actually read as secant of theta. Okay, that is the second one. And of course, this, this cosine and it's reciprocal. Guys, the third one is called the tangent of theta. The tangent of theta is also a very important trig function and it is it has connections with algebra and calculus and so many other applications. So guys, tangent is thought of as the opposite over adjacent. That is how we define the tangent. And then there's a reciprocal of this because if we are looking at, if there's a possibility of a ratio of opposite over adjacent, then there should also be an adjacent over opposite. And that ratio is called the cotangent. 
co cot of theta which is read as cotangent cotangent of theta and that ratio is the length of the adjacent over opposite so guys these are the six trig functions these two basically are the basic ones and then you can get the rest of them from these two and guys in my next video actually i'm going to like talk about how to get the rest of these just from here which some of you probably can already see how to get rest of these just by these two but in my next video i'm exclusively going to show everyone uh, how we get the rest of these four just from these two and then you can also see the relationship between these guys in this trig course or in these chapters which involves the trig functions there's going to be a lot of uh, like formulas and identity so one has to start like kind of remember and understand these basic ones and then uh, the rest of it kind of builds upon these things okay so we are going to like kind of spend time like we are already introducing this and in my next video i want to spend some more time to kind of show my students how we can get the rest of these four from these two now before we do that and we're going to do it in my next video guys there's one like a shortcut technique that students like to like use in order to remember this and that which is very popular uh, that is the soka toa so sine is the ratio of the opposite over hypotenuse that is so and then the cosine is the ratio of the adjacent over hypotenuse so soka toa and tangent is the ratio of the opposite over adjacent so guys that's how we like to kind of remember that the sine is the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and then tangent is opposite over adjacent so katoa and then of course one has to know that the reciprocal of sine is cosecant so then you just flip these it's h over o same thing with the cosine the reciprocal of the cosine is secant and then you have to just reciprocate this as well and the reciprocal of the tangent is the cotangent and to write the ratio or the, write the uh, trig function of for cotangent you do the adjacent over opposite so guys this is like a short form for uh, defining or remembering the ratios once you start using them guys you automatically kind of remember these it's all just matter of time and with experience you will you will finally remember that so guys this is the basic definition of like introducing these six trig functions and uh, please take some notes on this and then in my next video i'm going to show you the relationship between these and the, i mean you can already see the relationship but i'm going to show you how we can get these four from these two okay till then take care see you next time